All right, I know what you're expecting. You're expecting this long, drawn-out intro with some kind of comedy and some kind of expectation of something. I'm not going to give you that. You know why? Because we're serious today. We are serious cinephiles. All right? You understand? Okay. Let's go. This is my lead review of Mutt, yet another Sundance Award winner that I hadn't had a chance to watch until a couple weeks ago at its premiere at Lincoln Center in New York City. Directed by trans filmmaker Vuk Lungulov Klotz. Yeah, I'm uh, sorry. Anyways, Mutt is a personal, poetically crafted love letter to his family and friends about the trans experience, which succeeds in reaching a broader audience. I mean, hell, even I, a cis, white, straight-presenting, mask-presenting male, was able to relate to it in ways I didn't expect. It follows the story of Fenya, a trans guy living in New York City over the course of 48 hours. In this time, he's bombarded by reconnecting with his foreign father who's come to visit, his 13-year-old half-sister who skips school to come see him, and his straight ex-boyfriend who just happens to reappear in his life. It's quite literally a day in the life of a trans person, presented in a way that's palpable, realistic, not romanticized. It represents the city, not as a reason to show pretty visuals, but as a reflection of Fenya's inner dialogue. It represents characters as painstakingly unresolved, confused, but growing and changing nonetheless, in a way that just felt so real. And I know that sounds stupid, but it was loosely based Based on the director's life, so it's literally real. And by the end of it, I, again, a cis, white, straight presenting, mass presenting male, felt like I had truly walked in Fenya's shoes, and by extension, Vuk's shoes. We really need more queer stories like this on the big screen. I mean, with the growing problem of transphobia in the US, wouldn't it be helpful just to learn a little bit about the trans community? Like, just a little? Just open your mind a tiny bit? Learn? Even regardless of the context of Fenya's life, this movie is extremely moving. It's the opposite of cliche. And it made my eyes sweat a little. Okay, made them sweat a lot. I'll admit it. Made them sweat a lot. I cried, okay? That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Mutt is up there with my favorite Sundance movies of 2023, and I can only hope the film makes it to mainstream theaters. I'm giving it a whopping 9 out of 10. Okay, again, this is a serious one. I'm not gonna do anything stupid, okay? So I'm just gonna I'll slowly evolve into a New York accent really strong, and then I'm gonna turn off the recording. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.